Hey, welcome to Quetzalcoatl's Nest, the home of the feathered snake god in Naucalpan, Mexico State. This Airbnb is one of the coolest ones I've seen in the world and we're gonna do a tour. So, let's go. This is the living room. And outside we can see the feathered serpent himself. This particular structure is like a giant snake winding through the valley. It goes into the ground and we'll see the snake head later. We've got the kitchen. Notice the beautiful tile designs on the top. This way we've got... I haven't even been here, man. This is your room, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys sleep in here last night? No, that's not our bed. It's a bed. It's like the kid's room. It's a bed in the bathroom? Yeah, and there's like a, there's like a bed under the bed. <laughs> All right, bedroom number one sleeps two small children. This is Steve's room. The view outside is pretty dope. You can take a look at the property. And the window shades are kind of shaped like goldfish crackers. Here we've got a bedroom here, bunk beds. Also a good spot to hold all your camera gear. This way we've got, this is your room here. Ah, fold out couch. Da, 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 da. So it sleeps two, four, six, eight in here. And 10, is this 10? 10 total if you add the, the couch. All right. Nine with the nine without the couch. So the bathrooms are pretty sick. A what is it called? Rain rainfall shower, waterfall shower, and the windows go out into the jungle. They spin open like this. The cool thing about this place is that he built it to form around the landscape. So originally there was a gully, like a valley, with caves, and he built the structure. Oops. <laughs> to incorporate those features. It's called organic architecture. This is the master bedroom. This is Steve being sexy over in the corner. That's like the love seat, man. <laughs> Paint me like one of your French girls. <laughs> but if you look, you can, you, can sh you can see out the window. It's a, great, it's a great spot to relax with your wife, your girlfriend, or just be by yourself forever alone like Steve. Why do you wish you for me? <laughs> <laughs> there is enough closets for the entire family. I don't know why. And we have shower number two. So we're pretty sure that it sleeps around 10 people. And the highlight of this place is definitely what you can see outside. So let's get back outside. So if you'd like to see a tour of the entire park, there's a video already posted exploring the Parque de Quetzalcoatl, there are things in this place that will blow your mind. Unfortunately, the park is not yet open to the public, but it's not saying you can't get in. We did, and we had to book it to the Airbnb, and that seemed to be the shortcut to be able to stay there. It's about 4,200 Mexican pesos a night. That's 300 Canadian dollars. That's 250 American dollars. And sometimes, depending on what time of year it is, there's a two-night minimum. But you get friends together, you split the cost, and you have that park almost all to yourself. Big ups to my buddy Brendan Vanson for filming this MTV crib style video with me. Big ups to Steve, big ups to Jody. We were traveling together and had such an epic time in the nest. Experience over possessions, kick the grind. If you wanna see more of the park and learn more about its history and its secrets, make sure to watch the other video. Peace.